Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play RuneScape. This is Zero, of course. I hope you guys are all doing really well. Um, so I've got a bunch of little things to start off here. You can see I have a little friend, the Sky Pouncer. Um, when I purchased the year of, uh, of RuneScape, um, the gold status thing or whatever, um, it came with rune coins. And, you know, I, I looked at the deal in terms of how much you got per month. It was a really good deal, and for those who picked it up, you know, um, I hope you enjoy what you purchased. And for those who didn't, I'm sure they'll have more deals soon. But it came with 2,000 rune coins, um, and, you know, at first I thought, these things probably last a while, right? I don't have to worry about losing them. But if you guys didn't know, you might want to look into this, because I think they only last three months. Uh, so I'm up in my port. Uh, you can see I've got four ships. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that before. But check this out. I've completed um, two big voyages for Plate. Uh, after completing all of the story missions for one of your characters, at the end of it, when you get to the Pincers region, you get the final mission, you get uh, 25 trade goods for that voyage. Really good idea to include a merchant, right? Uh, so that's what I did. and um, So you can see I'm almost able to make the tradable lam laminar, and that is what I plan to make. Um, some people, for different reasons, they can make a lot of money doing other things, right? Um, you know, boss killing, PVM, stuff like that. I don't really do that kind of stuff myself. Um, so this is going to be a way for me to make money, right? Player ports, that's what I'm going to use it for, at least at first. And then later on, I'll make myself the untradeable version as well. So let's see here. So I've got Derek's on, and I want to find out um, where I can go and train, what a really good place would be. And I was thinking that I could do maybe Dagonets, right? Um, they have a weakness to Slash, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Slash. And so I want to find out what the hourly XP is. We're going to do that today. Um, it's probably going to be better for mid-level to high-level uh, training. And I was looking at cannonballs, too, because they're really cheap right now. Uh, let's bring this up. So, yeah, cannonballs, look at this. You know, after the evolution of combat, they dropped significantly in price because they didn't hit for quite as much as they used to. And then they recovered a little, but they've since dropped off again. And um, I think if you buy these for around 109 GP each or less, that's probably going to be a very good deal. But um, who knows? I mean, you know, maybe not, right? Uh, but that's what I'm trying to buy a few thousand at, and maybe I'll play around with those later on. And the cannon parts are also very cheap, uh, so look into that too. But uh, yeah, I didn't, I haven't got those yet, so maybe we won't use those. Hmm... There's some other stuff too, and I'll think of that in a minute, but uh, let's head over to to the, the watchtower, or the, what's it called now? The lighthouse, that's it. Oh yeah, the behind the scenes video, that's right. Uh, that's one of the other things. So the behind the scenes video for the community management team came out, and if you haven't seen it yet, definitely take a look. It's, it's pretty cool. I'm not going to release a behind-the-scenes breakdown for it because, you know, the way I wanted to kind of go through that video, I couldn't quite find the answers to the questions I was interested in, in answering. So I'm um, not really going to do that. Um, you know, they introduced some people that I didn't really know about before. Uh, Richard Barham, who is the uh, community management... I guess he's the head of the community management team. And apparently he's worked on other games in the past, but I don't actually know which games... He's worked on. I tried to find that out briefly, uh, so maybe you guys know what where he's worked in the past and and can give me a heads up. So once I get my health nice and low, um, this Derox has a set effect where, as your life points get lower, you actually um, hit for more. Right? Pretty simple. It had something like that before as well. But it's a little different now. I think it um, is more gradual than before. So the most you're going to hit is going to be when you're pretty close to dead. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get pretty close to dead. And we're going to try and sustain that by using purple sweets. Um, these things, they only heal 200, but they're stackable. Uh, stackable food is pretty uncommon. This is the only kind of stackable food you can purchase right now. 
but I wouldn't be too surprised if the pocket slot ends up having some type of a, a ration pack that you can build or something like that, you know? It'd be nice if you could um, get a pouch and fill it up with food and be able to eat out of that because um, food can be a huge inventory uh, drain. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I have my prayers all set up, but I'll check that in a minute. Just as soon as I get down. I'm going to keep my health around 1200, something in there. These guys don't hit too much with their ranged attacks, um, given that I've got good defense versus range. Come on now, they're not hitting me at all. I guess this will save me on uh, prayer. Let's do that. need that. Alright. So yeah, I'm thinking this will probably be pretty good um, mid to, to high level training. Uh, not absolutely sure. But I've started the clock over here. And uh, we should get a pretty good idea of the XP per hour. Maybe somebody knows a better place. If you guys know a better place, I would be happy to hear about that. With the EOC out now, a lot of things have changed. Like I used to do a lot of training by the um, the armored zombies, right? It was a pretty simple spot to train. But uh, lately, it hasn't been quite as much. I mean, it's good for mage now because I think they're weak to um, earth spells, maybe even water spells, which wouldn't be too surprising. But they're weak to something magic. And um, another guy, which was good, these great big gorillas um, on Apatol. I went and checked that out, but those guys are, are weak to earth spells. Um, so not, not quite what we want. Oh, uh, another thing I've been up to, um, I'm still apparently not done killing bots. I figured, okay, you know, 5,000, I'll surely be satisfied by then and not want to keep killing them. At least not right away, you know, maybe I'd take a break for a few days. But literally, um, like an hour after that video was up, I was back up there killing bots. I ended up dying, right? I was kind of tired. <laughs> and uh, so somebody who was up killing bots got a wicked drop that day because I messed up. My prayer wasn't even on. Um, so I lost my um, my god sword, right? Um, which was a little... I wasn't in the best of spirits directly after that. But like 40 minutes later, I was back up killing bots again. So, um, so I can't be stopped. I can't even stop myself. I, I like, you know, um, it just seems like the right... Thing to go and kill those damn bots. So that's what I've been doing. So I've got a new goal. We're going to kill over 9,000, uh, you know, to play on the internet meme. So yeah, I've got to thread back up. Killing bots more. Uh, somebody in the thread said that uh, maybe they would design uh, bots to avoid me specifically. I don't think so. I mean, I haven't cost them that much. Maybe 160 mil at this point, but they make that in like two hours, right? If there aren't any PKers, the, all the bots on all the worlds make over that in two hours. So um, they're not worried about me, you know? Uh, yeah. So I think I'll just keep training. Obviously, I'm still capped at 15 minute videos. And uh, we'll be back in, in a little while, and I'll give you guys an update. We can check out the, the uh, XP counter and uh, figure out how much XP per hour. So I'll talk to you guys in a little while. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've just about been here for an hour, but uh, there's a problem. <laughs> I've run out of uh, things. So my prayer is going to be off here in a minute. I don't know how much I'll be beaten and battered. However, uh, if we look up here, I can see I've gotten about 36,000 experience in strength. And I think I could probably do a little better than that. I've got about five minutes left in the hour. 
and uh, I was chatting with someone for a little while, you know, just kind of trying to enjoy myself while I was playing here. So I think you can roughly get about 160,000 experience per hour, which is pretty good. Right? Uh, so not a bad training spot in terms of XP per hour, and I know there's going to be people out there who are really good at grinding this stuff, and they could probably get 170, 180, who knows, right? They could probably do a little better than I have. But uh, as far as actually trying to enjoy myself, it's not really an enjoyable place to train. Um, you're kind of getting spammed all the time by these ridiculous shots that never really hit you, right? So it's kind of unnecessary spam. Um, it doesn't look good, uh, you know, and obviously I've trained here before, so I kind of knew what I was getting into. But uh, yeah, I didn't really enjoy training here, so I don't think I'll come back. I think I'll find another spot that's less spammy. I mean, there's stuff all over the ground. I'm never even looking at it because there's not really time to pick it up. Um, so yeah, not, not the best spot overall, but uh, not bad experience, about 160k. Uh, what have I found out here, aside from what I've already mentioned? Um, only the rangers are weak to slash. The uh, larger Dagonuts are weak to air spells. So um, maybe, you know, there would be some type of combined uh, a melee attack that would be very effective. Not really sure. But uh, using um, area effect abilities is really useful, like the cleave ability, it attacks in a frontal cone, so uh, the three spaces in front of you get hit. And then stuff like hurricane, obviously very useful um, because you can hit um, you know, a group around you. And the same thing goes for the quake threshold, so you've got one ability for strength in quake and one in attack for hurricane. Um, pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, pretty spammy as well. <laughs> uh, and it's exhausting. I mean, I'm exhausted. So, yeah. <laughs> not, not an enjoyable place to train whatsoever. My brain is just tired. So, I'm going to take a little break and then we'll wrap it up from there. I'm sure I'll remember the other stuff that I wanted to talk about. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Uh, maybe we'll head over to the ports. All right. Well, I really needed that five-minute break. My brain was melting. So, um, yeah, let's think here. So the Dagoneth area, I don't, I don't like training there. You know, I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I, I got quite a bit of experience, right? Um, roughly 160k an hour. But it was brutal. I mean, it's just spam, you know, all these shots going off all the time. It seems unnecessary. It's not very appealing. It doesn't give me the sense that I'm being challenged. It just gives me the sense that I'm being annoyed, right? Um, you know, there's this funny thing, and I don't want to rant, but I'm going to rant. <laughs> there's this funny thing about RuneScape where almost the only valuable trait that a person can have in order to experience success in this game is persistence, right? Um, persistence is the most important thing that you need in order to do things well in this game. You know, you have to be persistent um, in the forums and spam your thread if you want people to notice it. You keep hitting the bump button or something. And that's how you get the first thread. Um, if you want to get first place in skills, you need to spam and train your skills and be very persistent. And, and then eventually you'll get your skills really high up there. And some of that is okay, right? But there's more to people than just persistence. Um, in fact, that might not even be our best trait. Um, things like creativity or, um, I don't know, you know, innovation or something like that. Or um, just, you know, general generally being smart, right? If you just mash a button again and again, it doesn't feel too smart. Um, and, and it's interesting, you know, the Dagonets, when we're being attacked by these things, it's obvious. It's obvious that persistence is kind of annoying because they're, like, persisting, right? And it's annoying. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Not an enjoyable place to train. I'm going to look for another one. If you guys have suggestions, I would love to hear them. So thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will talk to you later.